All right, guys, welcome back to the video. Hey, before we get started today, I just want to give a quick shout out and say thank you to all the new subscribers, everyone that's been watching my content lately. I really appreciate each and every one of you. The channel is quickly approaching 30,000 subscribers. To me, that's just insane. Uh, really, really cool. I, I never really thought we would be here. So I just want to give a quick thanks to each and every one of you. I couldn't have done it without you. And I hope you enjoy today's video. So with that said, we're going to jump right into it. Today, I'm bringing you a review on a rifle that I've really been enjoying. This is the Winchester Wildcat. Some of you may recognize this. Some of you probably even own this rifle, maybe in a different variant. Um, but, with, but speaking on that, the rifle's been out for a little while now, a couple of years. Originally, they just had one model, which was the standard rifle, no threaded barrel, which I did buy that. As soon as I saw the rifle came out, I knew I was gonna want one, so I did pick one up and I shot it for a while. <clears throat> then I saw the Winchester release the SR model, suppressor ready. And uh, as soon as I found one on the shelf, I had to pick that up. So that's what I've done here. I've been shooting this thing for quite some time now. I think I've got enough rounds down range and enough time with the gun to give you a good honest review, let you know if your money is gonna be well spent on this or not. Um, and I'm gonna run a variety of different ammo through this for you today so you can see how it performs with different ammos. I'm also gonna run a few different magazines because one cool thing is it does work with Ruger magazines. Here I've got a BX25. It'll also take the 10 round Ruger mags, any of the 1022 style mags that will run and it runs them well. I'm gonna show you that. I'm also gonna be trying out my suppressor on it. I do have a Silencer Co switchback, a rimfire suppressor that I'm gonna be using on this, which is the main reason I picked this particular rifle up is to shoot it suppressed. Runs really well suppressed. So let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a look at some of the ammo and we'll get started and let you guys check this thing out. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the ammo we'll be shooting through the Winchester today. First thing we've got here is some Federal Auto Match. This is probably my favorite bulk ammo. As you can see, this is a 40 grain lead round nose designed for target shooting as we're going to be doing today. This is a really nice round. It does come with a pretty heavy coating of wax on the bullet there, as you can see. This stuff is great at ensuring that your barrel does not get leaded out. I've never had a single problem with this ammo. I ran through pistols, revolvers, rifles, pumps, semi-autos, levers. I've never had a single issue with this ammo. I highly recommend trying that out. Really good stuff for the money. The price has been coming down on it consistently over the last couple of months as well. Here we've got some, uh, some other really good bulk ammo. This is Fiocchi 40 grain copper plated round nose. If you guys have never tried this out, to me, it's really similar to CCI Mini Mag 40 grain copper plated round nose. So if you can't find that, but you can find this Fiocchi, give it a shot. I think you'll be pretty impressed. It's pretty hot ammo. Uh, really, really good stuff. Had a lot of good luck with that. I've also got a couple of boxes of this CCI Standard Velocity. This is one of my favorite ammos for shooting through my suppressor because if you notice here, it is inherently subsonic at only 1,070 feet per second, which is below the supersonic threshold. So this stuff is pretty quiet. It's also a 40 grain lead round nose. It's a pretty heavily waxed bullet also. I've had some really good luck with this, so we'll try this one out as well. Finally, I've got some CCI Quiet 22. This is again a 40 grain lead round nose, but it's significantly slower at 710 feet per second, meaning it is much quieter but it does have quite a bit of drop at extended range. So be aware of that if you're going to use it, you will need to compensate a little bit for that bullet drop. I've also got laying out here the Ruger BX25, as I mentioned before. These things run great in the Wildcat. Any Ruger 1022 pattern magazine will work well in the Wildcat. These 25s are really nice. You can also run the BX15s from Ruger as well. This here, some of you guys may be looking at, is the standard Winchester Wildcat 10 round rotary magazines you can see there it does have the winchester logo in a few places here and here like i said it is a rotary magazine so you do have the little dial there as you can see it does move the follower down as you dial it making it much easier to load this magazine really good magazine haven't had a single issue with it um zero problems whatsoever guys finally i've got my silencer co switchback suppressor laying here We'll be taking a few shots with this thing today. Just an awesome, awesome can. If you guys are in the market for a rimfire suppressor, highly recommend taking a look at the Silencer Co. The Switchback is one of my favorite cans I have. It's full auto rated. It can handle 22 long rifle, Magnum, uh, 17 HMR, and 57 by 28 It's modular, so you can change the size of it. Super nice can. Highly recommend it. Uh, but anyway, let me get some magazines loaded up. We'll take a few shots down range and let you guys check this thing out. All right, guys, I've got 25 rounds of Federal Auto Match loaded up. We're going to send these down range and see how the rifle performs with this ammo. We're at roughly maybe 20 yards away, so not a really crazy range. I've got some steel targets down there. I've also got a paper target. We're going to put a few shots on each one, see how the rifle does. I do want to apologize for the wind. The last few minutes, the wind's really picked up, so I'm going to try to uh, make sure that's not too loud on camera, but I do apologize in advance. So let me get this thing loaded up with the Ruger mag. Locks in perfectly. Let's charge it up. Here we go. 
We're gonna send a few shots down range, guys. All right, guys, you can see, you may notice, the Ruger BX25 magazine does not have a last round hold open. At least if it does, it does not work in this rifle. So as you can see there, it will not hold open. But you do have a hold open here. If you pull the charging handle back, you can push this up here and it will lock the bolt back. So that is nice. But the magazine itself will not lock the bolt back. So that's something to be mentioned. I've also got 25 rounds of the Fiocchi 40 grain copper plated round nose. Let me switch out the magazines. We'll see how the rifle likes that ammo. 25 rounds of Fiocchi going in, guys. Locks in fun. Let's charge it up. Take a few shots. Alright guys, same thing, like I said, the Ruger mags do not lock the charging handle to the rear, but you can manually do it on the side there with that little bolt latch there. So, like I said, 25 rounds of auto match, 25 rounds of Fiocchi, zero problems in the rifle so far. Let me load up a couple more magazines, we'll take a few more shots. I've got 10 rounds of the CCI Standard Velocity loaded up in the Standard Magazine. I'm gonna pop the suppressor on, let you guys hear that, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, 10 rounds of CCI Standard Velocity. I figured it would make more sense to hear 10 rounds without the suppressor and do 10 rounds with the suppressor. So first, we're going to run 10 rounds, no suppressor. Just to let you guys hear what this ammo sounds like. Hopefully, it'll come over well over the uh, camera, and we'll take a look. It is worth mentioning that the factory uh, Winchester Wildcat magazine does feature a last round bolt hold open. So you'll be able to see that here in just a moment. So let me charge it up, send 10 rounds of Standard Velocity down range, guys. Here we go. All right, guys, as you can see, the bolt did hold open on the last round, as I said it would, because the factory magazine does feature a last round bolt hold open. You may have noticed that ammo was a little quieter than the Federal Auto Match and the Fiocchi I was shooting before. So let me switch out magazines, grab my suppressor and put it on. We'll take a look and see how quiet that is with the can on it, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I've got 10 more rounds of that CCI Standard Velocity. I've got my Silencer Co. Switchback Suppressor installed on the rifle. Gonna take a few shots down range, let you guys hear how much quieter it is um, than without the suppressor. Let you guys check that out. So I've got 10 rounds loaded. Charge up the rifle. Let's take a couple of shots here. Couple in the dirt. All right, guys, you can see again, the bolt did not hold open, but the round is very quiet with the suppressor on it. As you can see, that standard velocity is super, super quiet. So if you guys can't find a suppressor ammo, you know, quote unquote, and you can find that standard velocity, grab some. It's very, very quiet with a suppressor on it. You won't be disappointed. Let me get the suppressor off. And actually, let me put a few rounds of that CCI quiet through the gun. I don't think it'll cycle the bolt, but let me load up a few rounds and we'll take a few shots with that. Let you guys hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, I got a few rounds of the CCI quiet ammunition with me here. We're gonna send five rounds down range without the suppressor so you guys can hear what this sounds like. I don't believe that I've ever shot this in the rifle. If I have, I can't remember, but I, I, I highly doubt it's gonna cycle the bolt, but it may. So let's send five shots down range, let you guys hear what that sounds like, and I'll throw the can on there and we'll see what we get. So five rounds down range, CCI quiet. All right, as you can see there, it did not cycle the action. We actually got a stove pipe, so I'll go ahead and clear that. All right, here we go. Again, it did not cycle the action completely. All right, guys, I'm going to throw the can on there and send the last few shots downrange with the suppressor installed to give you an idea of how, how much difference the suppressor makes with the quiet ammo. I think you're going to be pretty impressed. Hang on one second. All right, guys, I've got the Silencer Co. switchback reinstalled on the rifle. We're going to take the last few shots downrange with the CCI quiet ammunition 
and the suppressor installed. Take a listen to how much difference the suppressor does make. Here we go. All right, guys, you can see we are clear. I did put the last two shots in the dirt so you can get an idea of how quiet this actually is. Extremely quiet with the suppressor on it, with the CCI quiets. Um, but because they won't cycle the action, as you saw right here, I really reserve the quiets for bolt actions and then like a, like a lever action or a single shot. I really don't run them in semi-autos for that reason right there. That's why I prefer the standard velocity. It's plenty quiet and it cycles the action. Now let me get this can off of here, load up a few more rounds to take a few shots and I'll share uh, some other thoughts with you guys on this rifle. All right, guys, I've got 25 more rounds of that Federal Auto Match loaded up, and I've also got 25 rounds in my back pocket here of the Fiocchi 40 grain uh, copper-plated round nose loaded up as well. What I'm gonna do is shoot both of these magazines as fast as I can, controlled, and just see if we can get any kind of malfunction whatsoever out of the rifle. So let me go ahead and send these 25 rounds of Auto Match downrange and uh, see how the rifle performs. So here we go. guys you can see the bolt did not hold open because of the magazine but we had zero issues whatsoever with that auto match let me switch out to the Fiocchi and we'll do the same thing and see how it performs with that we're charged up magazines locked in here we go 25 rounds all right again we did not lock open on the last round because of the magazine but again absolutely zero issues with that Fiocchi ammo the rifle runs perfect guys i haven't put anything through it that it hasn't liked or hasn't ran aside from the cci quiet ammunition because of it's just not powerful enough to cycle the action completely but that's not a fault of the gun that's the ammo it's not designed for that but the rifle functions really really well i can't say enough good things about this um, if you're looking for a rifle or a 22 in general that's inexpensive it runs well that you can run your suppressor on it's easy to shoot it's very lightweight i'm not sure the exact weight on the rifle but it's super lightweight 16 and a half inch barrel half by 28 standard threads for your muzzle device or your favorite suppressor really 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 easy to rifle even easy to shoot rifle very very easy it takes your ruger 1022 magazines who doesn't have those laying around already it's got a super super easy sight picture i don't know if you guys can see that or not but it does use a ghost ring rear with just a standard blade up front, but super easy to shoot. Ghost ring sights, Picatinny rail on the top, standard 1913 rail for your favorite red dot or scoop, whatever you wanna run on there, guys. Absolutely zero issues whatsoever. I think we're gonna, to close the video out, I'm gonna back up to 100 yards and just see if I can put a few shots on steel just for the fun of it before we close out. But I can't say enough good things about the rifle. It does also have integrated uh, sling slots here, sling swivel studs on the front. You do have this piece here that covers up a Picatinny rail. So you can remove that and expose your other sling swivel there. And you can also put a bipod or something like that on there if you chose to do so. The rifle is just super, super nice. Great trigger, cross bolt safety here. A super, super nice rifle. Anyway, let me load back up, slide up to 100 yards, take a few shots and we'll close this thing up, guys. Hang tight. All right, guys, I'm back here at roughly 100 yards. I've got 10 rounds of that Fiocchi, a 40 grain copper plated round nose loaded up. I'm gonna take a few shots at my eight inch steel targets down there. See if we can connect with anything. To be honest, they look pretty small from here, but we'll see if we can do it just for fun. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this rifle and uh, tell you what I think about it. So let me get us charged up here. See if we can connect with anything down there at 100 yards. There's one. All right, guys, you can see we are empty. I think I got roughly six or seven shots on steel. So out of 10, that's not too bad. I'll take it. But anyway, about the rifle, I just don't think you can beat it for the price. These things are ringing in right now from Academy. I did see on their uh, website this morning that you can get these things for around 250 bucks right now, which is an absolute steal. And to make it even better, I think they're offering like a $50 mail-in rebate or something like that from the manufacturer. So 
for 250 bucks or sub $300, you cannot go wrong with this rifle, guys. Um, the 1022 is the main reason I bought this because as great as the 1022 is, and it is a great rifle, uh, there's no argument there. It's been a great rifle for many, many years. But for me, the 1022, I've just never really liked the sight picture. So when I saw this come out with the ghost ring sights, I decided I have to have one. So if you guys aren't a huge fan of the Ruger 1022, give this Winchester Wildcat a try. For under 300 bucks, I don't think there's any way you can go wrong. It eats everything. It's accurate. It's fun as, as fun as can be to shoot, guys. It runs all your Ruger 1022 magazines. It's got a great sight picture. You've got a rail already mounted on top. There's just no way you can go wrong. So like I said, I highly recommend it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, leave me a like and a comment. Maybe even subscribe if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Uh, drop a comment down below if there's something you want to see in the future. But until then, uh, like I said, I hope you guys have a great one. Merry Christmas to everybody. New videos coming all the time. Uh, take it easy and uh, have a great day, guys.